Good morning, guys. Good afternoon. Good evening. Let's get it going. We have another beautiful day here in Canada, guys. My throat is getting better. Last couple of videos, I said I was sick, coming over a cold. It was weird, guys. I never get sick. And the reason I'm wearing the sunglasses is because it is a sunny day. The sun is just currently behind a bunch of clouds. It's actually a windy day today. I'm in shorts. Goodness, guys, it's a little chilly out here, I'll be honest. But anyways, guys, let's get it going. We got the good old train. Come on, guys, sit back, relax. This is the perks of filming outside. It's very unpredictable. But with that comes the rawness, the strength, and our ability to endure. So with that said, guys, speaking of that, uh, yes, we're getting better. The cold is going away. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall. It's really windy. But anyways, guys, we are back. So in today's video, guys, we are speaking of, you know what? I got to put on pants, guys. It is a little too cold for my liking. All right, pant mode activated and the sun is starting to come out slowly again. So I don't just look like a poser wearing glasses. There we go, amen, glory to God. So anyways, guys, in today's video, I titled it, or believe I titled it, men need to toughen up. Men need to harden up, guys. And I'm gonna hit this from a very different angle because I'm not gonna, I, and I really don't even mean necessarily psychologically, although yes, it will become psychological. I literally mean, there we go. That's, see guys, when I started recording, that's how the sun was, I promise. <laughs> I literally mean physically. I guess you could say physiologically, guys. Uh, and I'm gonna relate this to the animal kingdom. So with that said, guys, just to give you story time with David, as you guys know, I've now been working labor at the job I'm currently at. The goal is to get out, guys. Come on, support your boy, help me out, guys. Come on, we're getting there slowly, but I'm not there yet. Uh, and, I, and at this job work in labor, it's been about eight months now. One thing that really dawned upon me the other day, really, is the, <laughs> is, is, is the way I held myself. And I, maybe this sounds a little strange. I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but I noticed when I was in this environment, and I'm going to explain how this relates to you guys, how I naturally kind of held myself in a bigger, more rigid way. Like as you enter these areas, these high testosterone, let the train pass, but these high testosterone areas, maybe you're in like a competitive powerlifting gym, right? Maybe you work labor, you're in the trades. Any place where there are a lot of men, it really has to be men, void of women. If you guys are working a nine to five in a corporate kind of desk job, it's not really gonna cut it because it's mixed. A lot of kind of fat guys, overweight, just effeminate. You know, I hate to use the word vibes and energy, but that's the vibe. When you guys are in jail, I'll be brutally honest because that's what this labor place kind of feels like. A lot of people kind of consider it the pin. It's just like this like jail. That's kind of what it feels like, guys. You know, especially in the past when I was really working paycheck to paycheck, I literally felt like a slave. I'll be brutally honest with you. And you got to go through those, those seasons, right? Maybe you're on like a football team or something just high test, full of men. Think of like in a locker room. That's a perfect example. You're in a locker room full of other high test men who I'm not saying they want to necessarily hurt you, but there's this aggression, man, where, hey, look, I'm going to do me, you do you, but don't step on my toes. And you can feel this kind of like, think of like an animal, like a dog. Uh, what do dogs do when they get aggressive? Their, their, their hair on their neck starts to stand up, right? This kind of like, men just do this. And I noticed I began to almost like, kind of subconsciously, just physiologically, always kind of like become just like hardened. And even in day-to-day -day life, and now I'm not saying this is necessarily a good, well, I, I would consider it a good thing. I'm not saying it's an amazing thing, but we guys, as you understand, someone smoking weed, I can smell it. We are a byproduct of our environment. And the one thing I've really noticed, guys, is this is what's lacking in our world. This ability to toughen up, kind of think of like I was bringing it to the animal kingdom, right? This was the analogy. You think of a pig, right? And don't ask me how I know this, guys, but you can search this up. When you take a domesticated, fluffy pink pig, that's because they're in a farm. They're cushiony, they got their meals, even though it's, you know, it's not great being a pig by any means. They got their meals, they got all their buddies, everything's very modulated. It's like that nine to five kind of curated, you know, work in a desk, everything's kind of AC, uh, nice and cushy. You, you literally become like a piggy. Their hair falls off, right? They're thick. Think of like a boar. Their thick boar hair falls off. They actually lose their tusks. Where pigs, guys, if you put them back in the wild, they literally become boars, guys. Now, I don't know exactly how true this is, but from what I saw, this is what it was like. They literally grow thicker hair. They grow teeth. They grow, th like, they become dangerous. Wild boars are dangerous, guys. These are not little pet pig piglets you want to, you know, bring inside your house, right? And that's what happens to the modern day man. The modern day man is effeminated because of a lack of pressure, a lack of the wild, a lack of being in um, congruence or in, what's the word I'm looking for? 
really just tight spaces, tight corridors with other high test men. You think of prison, guys. This literally is what happens. Prison inmates become so jacked, not because they have the best powerlifting equipment and kilo calibrated plates and the best pec deck machine. No, far from that. In fact, from what I know, they probably have no equipment, but it's because they're in such tight vicinity with other high test men. It is a sink or swim environment. They become denser. They just, it's something in you guys. And it's one thing I really noticed the past couple of days while being at this job, like, dude, what's, what's happened to me? Like, I'll be at the grocery store or something and I'm just like on all fours, like just like ready to go. And you know, guys, I think, cause I actually don't think you should be in these environments forever. It's, it's actually not good for you. It ages you. It's not good, right? But I do believe men, guys, even if you, you're self-employed, it doesn't matter. We need to be in these higher test environments. You know, I think this is actually perfect why God put me there because now when I go to these universities where a lot of students look at me like I'm like fish food, you know, now granted guys, I, you know, they're, 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 they're like 20 year old kids. I'm a 26 year old man. I, I don't, you know, worry like that. But when you're in these uncomfortable situations, maybe you're, uh, I don't know, you're in a public situation, like maybe you have to do a public presentation or you're talking to a girl and you're kind of like uncomfortable. You know, what I'm here to tell you guys is if you want to overcome social anxiety, this is a perfect example, get put in these uncomfortable high test situations. Go to a powerlifting gym, go to an MMA gym, go work labor, go in these areas, like go to the trades, man, go work construction for six months. You will literally come back with like, like literally tusks, bro. It's just going to change you, your, your neurochemistry. And from that, guys, I truly believe your ability to attack life will be much I'm not gonna say it's easier, but like you literally have an advantage. Life just be like, you know, life is hard, right? Think of Rocky, right? It's not about how many times you get hit, it's you get back up. Life's gonna smack you, right? You think of the devil, really. He's gonna smack you, man. It doesn't matter whether you're strong, tall, short, fat, skinny. He's gonna smack you, right? That's Luke 12, 48. To whom much is given, much will be required. It's kind of like this equal dance. The higher our calling, the higher our vitality, the devil's going to bring out higher rank demons, guys. This is literally what happens. Um, and if you want a better chance to fight back, we need these tusks, right? Especially, guys, I know this is more carnal, so I'm not saying you have to have this. Again, our spiritual strength comes from our spirit, like I told you guys. Uh, we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness. Our, our flesh is actually weak, guys. You know, a lot of you guys, this is kind of a side tangent, but a lot of you will, will comment on my, my other channel, The Christ Developed, and they'll say, David, like, how are you so calm in these kind of, like, very uncomfortable situations talking about abortion or like LGBTQ or you can, you know, Muslims and you can clearly see like they're, they're agitated. They're not happy. How are you so calm to the Holy Spirit? So I want to make this clear to you guys. And I want to kind of wrap up this video here, even though yes, men need to toughen up. I want to make this very clear. I was on a client call speaking of this. Our flesh is weak compared to our spirit guys. Our flesh is nada. It is nada. I've seen my pastor, my ex pastor. He's not a huge guy. You know, I, you know, he's about my height, you know, He's not like super jacked, you know, kind of like an average build, but I've seen because he was in a spirit, him be so bold against any single person I've ever seen. Like guys, I'm, I'm talking like there were like gang members that looked like literal gang members that like assaulted him that he thought a couple times he's going to lose his life. I don't know if they pulled out guns on him sometimes where he thought people were going to pull out knives. Um, like I'm talking angry, dangerous looking hobos and like, like he's like right up face to face. Um, and these people against him are like afraid. They're like, why is this guy not backing down? It's his spirit. I need to make that so clear to you guys. Our flesh compared to our spirit is day and night. If you guys, that's son, I know it's probably super overexposed right now. If you guys want to become bold, you want to be better Christ-like men. Yes, guys, toughen yourself up, be in the gym. You know, I had a question, a client asked me that, David, you know, how important is it for us Christ followers, I know this is a side topic, uh, to be in the gym, to get strong. It is quintessential, my friend. In fact, I just switched gyms again, guys. Uh, honestly, for kind of the biggest reason, it's just kind of what I do kind of political stuff. I don't want to get into it, but um, no, you need to lift, you know, work in labor. I've actually been slacking on lifting a little bit. I'll be honest with you guys, just due to the physical demand, but it doesn't matter. I switched gyms 24 hour, literally to force myself to go back and lift. I'm actually, I'm actually, I'll be honest. I'm kind of small right now, guys. I'm losing muscle. I'm, I'm normally like, you guys know I'm a competitive power lifter. At least I was, I'm a big, strong guy. You need to be big and strong guys. Amen. Harden yourself up. But this is what separates myself and you guys from the typical red pill kind of 
Hamza, Andrew Tate, guys, we need the spirit of Jesus Christ. If you do not have that, I don't care, guys, I really mean this. I do not care how big you are, how tough you are. Think of David and Goliath. I don't care if you're some six foot five, 250 pound man. If your spirit is weak, you're gonna get trumped. You're gonna get cooked, guys. The man who's in his spirit has a boldness like no other. Think of like um, Daniel in the lion's den. Think of David and Goliath. Think of Samson, all these biblical characters. Think of Christ, guys. We need the spirit. Our flesh, even if you're this big macho guy, it's nothing. I'm able to discern and be like almost like a serpent and pierce through these guys' armors and really get to the brass tacks when I'm in these debates and discussions because I'm in my spirit. I'm not there to fight. I'm not there to be this big macho guy. No, absolutely not. I'm not there to intimidate. So to bring it full circle with you guys here, men need to toughen up, amen, yes, we need to be uh, toughened in our flesh to go out there, but what's most important and what will always be most important is being in our spirit, especially when we're in these uncomfortable situations. To finish it off here, how do we get into our spirit? Pray. That is my biggest prayer. God, allow me to decrease. John the Baptist says that. Allow me to decrease so you can increase. Guide me. You know, let me just be a vessel. Like, 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 help me. Guide me. Humble yourself, man. And if you can do that, guys, by the way, we have the mug, I forgot. If you guys can do that, humble yourself just like Christ did. I truly do know and believe that God will begin to fill you and you'll have this boldness. And, and really, guys, if you know you're in the spirit, I just want to kind of, I know I keep saying I'm going to finish it here, but you know you're in the spirit, not because like you're super macho and everything like that, just from what I've gained through street preaching and debating in these kind of like you know, and it's only going to get worse, guys. I'm going to very soon go to the States, bigger universities, bigger debates, bigger confrontations. I'm ready for it. That's actually, that's why I'm doing this, guys. I want to, you know, Lord send me. I want to do that. Um, oh, the light keeps changing. You guys know you're in the spirit when you're, remember this, listen. When you're at a state of peace, calmness, almost like, it's just like this like serenity. You'll be in like the fire. Everyone's yelling at you, get out of here, how dare you? And there's this like level of just like stillness. That's how you know you're in the spirit. Because when you're in the flesh, you get very angry and you get very fearful and you naturally, you're in this kind of fight or flight, which defend yourself, guys. If, believe me, I'm not the type of Christian that if you get slapped, you just take it. No, push that dude back. Like defend yourself, brush him off you, bro. People are assaulting you, brush them off you. If you have to knock him out to save yourself, I recommend that. I Yes, turn the other cheek, guys. Like, don't kill him, nothing like this. But, like, if a dude's assaulting you and he's taking your stuff, push that dude off, man. Maybe don't knock him out. Maybe I take that back. But, like, push that dude off and really expose him, you know? Like, what are you doing, man? But if it comes down to your life, guys, I'm pro-defending yourself. Like, killing guys is very different than murder. I need to make that very clear. Jesus tells us not to murder. Murder is, is, is with a malice intent, it's unjustified. Like, if there's like an innocent person, like abortion, right? There's an innocent kid who's done nothing wrong, and I'm like, I'm gonna murder this guy. He's done nothing wrong. Um, it's, it, it's unjust, that's murder. But killing is different, guys. If a dude comes to my house with a gun, hey, I might knock that dude out. I hope to God I don't have to kill him, but like, there's a big difference. Does that make sense? In defense. All right, so hopefully that clears things up, guys. Toughen up as a man, be in these high test areas, but the flesh, even I don't care how tough you are, how hardened you think you are, it is nothing compared to the spirit. And you know you're in your spirit when you're speaking in these, you know, these debates. Maybe it's with your family, you're in these uncomfortable situations and you are at peace. That is Christ living within you. So God bless, guys. Hopefully you have an amazing day. I actually have a family dinner I need to get to very soon. Hence why I'm speaking quickly, guys. Amen. Glory to God. Be in your spirit. And I'll check you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. As always, guys, there is one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you guys would like to work with me on a personal level, you guys know what's up. I love speaking with you guys, and it's an amazing conversation. That is that. Glory to God. God bless. Check your next video. Till then, much love. Peace.